Batman that story. Jason, I, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Understand what I'm telling you. What I do is dangerous. Well, I'm not afraid of the danger. But first, Dick Grayson, then Jason Todd, they were so great. They made Robin a hero. If you're going to be Robin, the first thing you've got to learn is that Dick Grayson and Jason Todd were gifted young men. But they were still boys. Taught, trained, brought to their full potential by someone with the right knowledge. Just boys. Like me. I can do it. I know I can. It's a start, but we'll have to take it slow and easy. Master Timothy, if you're going to emulate Master Bruce... Sure am, Alfred. Then I suspect you'll be spending more time down in this cave than at your own home. Therefore, I have taken the liberty of collecting your mail and bringing it here. Hey, thanks, Alfred. Might as well read it while Bruce, um, Batman is working. Let's see. Invitation of my school summer dance. Well, a latest bulletin from the Sherlock Holmes Society. And hey, a postcard from my parents. Wonder where they are now. Dear Tim, hope you got our note from Zanzibar. Your father and I are off to the Caribbean now. Business, of course. We never do anything else. Love, Mom. Jeremy, please inform Mrs. Drake that if she's finished her scribbling, she might want to take a look out the window. We are over the island of Haiti. Uh, yes, Mr. Drake. Uh, Mrs. Drake, your husband says... I heard, Jeremy. Tell Mr. Drake, no, I do not want to take a closer look at Haiti. Tell him if he'd bothered to read the file I'd prepared, he'd know there's no point. The euphoria at the overthrow of the Duvaliers is long gone. The military is still in control, and the people live in fear, poverty, and voodoo superstition. Uh, Mr. Drake, uh, Mrs. Drake says... Kindly inform my wife. It is precisely... Tango Red 11. Come in, Tango Red 11. This is Tango Red. Who is this? You are piloting the Drake's private plane, are you not? That's affirmative. What can I do for you? You can land your aircraft below, monsieur. Now. What? Who is this? I am the Obio Man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh Obio Man. I, I have, I've heard of you. What do you want with me? Land your plane, Monsieur Cousins. You see, I know your name. I know your house. I know your barber. I know that you believe. Please. I have made a doll, Monsieur Goussens. It is you. I have the doll. And I have a needle, Monsieur. I am going to hurt the doll, Monsieur. I am going to hurt you. Badly. Your eyes, monsieur. <laughs> no, please. Don't. I'll do whatever you want. Where are we? Obia. Obia. Obia, man. Obia. Pilot, what's going on? Why have you landed us in the middle of the jungle? What? Obia. Obia? What? Is, is that some kind of disease? Obia. Jeremy, tell Mr. Drake that Obia is a voodoo word meaning black magic. <gasps> and tell him we have company. Welcome to Haiti, Mr. and Mrs. Drake. I am your host. I am the Obia Man. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few more keystrokes in the criminal records file interface with the Interpol satellite feed and voila, a global tracking system. Good job, Tim. You've created a network almost as complex as my own. Hey, in this day and age, a guy's gotta know his way around a computer. I can't wait to tap into those Cray computers you've got. But if you don't mind, I think I'll try a little education through entertainment. It's the Basil Rathbone Sherlock Holmes rerun on Classics Night. More on that London bombing later. Finally, in the Caribbean, there's still no word of the plane carrying Gotham industrialist Jack Drake and his wife Janet. What? The plane which set off from Antigua this morning was due to arrive at Kingston several hours ago. More news as we have it. And now, before our Classics Night detective movie, this word from McGuinn Motors. What's going on? Tim. Missing? Tim, don't think the worst. It's only a few hours. Anything could have delayed them. 
Master Bruce, I just saw the news. Tim's... Alfred. Oh, you know. My parents... There are any number of possible explanations, Tim. They might have changed their plans, headed for one of the other islands, or gone back to Antigua, or... Or crashed. Well, yes, that is a possibility, Master Tim. But that's all it is. One among many. Never fear the worst until it actually happens. Be strong. Be patient. Um, yeah. If, if, if you want me, I'll be in my room. Tim... Uh... Uh, sir, if I may be so bold... I should console him, Alfred. His parents, for God's sakes. I should know better than anyone. It may be wiser to leave him for a while. He needs to be able to adjust. And if the worst does come to the worst, you should know better than anyone that no one else can really help. I have to be strong. I have to be patient. I have to be there when he needs me. But he forgot to tell me. <laughs> the heroes cry. You inhuman brute. That was cold-blooded murder. Oh my god, Jeremy, all that blood. If my hands were free, I'd do nothing, Mr. Drake. For I would call down the spirit Loas to defend me. <laughs> Baron Samdi and Papa Legba are on my side. <laughs> you may fool your followers with that voodoo nonsense, but it doesn't frighten me. And I'll see you pay. Damn you. If it takes every cent I own in the rest of my life, I'll see that you pay. Mr. Drake, every cent you own will soon be mine. And as for your lifespan... Well, do not count on it being long if your company fails to pay your ransom. But don't worry. Once they see the video I have made, once they see how willingly I cut the throat of your companion and drained his blood, they will know that the Obia man makes no idle threats. <laughs> Commissioner. What the? You do know I have a door you called. This videotape was delivered to Drake Industries this afternoon. Be warned, it's not pretty. Play it. My friends, as you can see, Jack and Janet Drake and their assistant have been taken captive. Help us! These people are serious. You will pay us ten million dollars for their return. You will not inform the police. We will be in touch to tell you when and where. And to show, as Mr. Drake says, that we are serious. Wait, what are you doing? Stay away from Jeremy. No, no. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, no. Oh, God. The assistant was of no use. At the moment, the Drakes are. But any breach of our conditions will ensure the Drakes meet a similar end. <laughs> I've seen enough. Stop the tape. Gladly. That tape could rattle anyone's nerves. Where's my pipe? Where did this come from? Uh, no idea. They could be holding them in... Uh... Gotham, for all we know. The tape arrived in a plain wrapper. Standard domestic videotape. Forensics say it's been wiped clean of prints. There's a faint odor here. So forensics said. They don't know what, though. Can't say I noticed it myself. You might if smoking hadn't destroyed your sense of smell. Sherlock Holmes once suggested that a man needs to recognize at least 75 perfumes before he can begin to call himself a detective. I could double that on herbs alone. It's Jimson weed, thorn apple, found in Central America and the Caribbean. Well, that makes sense, but which island? Play back the tape. You will pay us ten million dollars for their return. You will not inform the police. We Stop will be there. in touch. What? You see something? Behind their heads in the video shot, shelves of cans and bottles, none of them labeled, but in that jar. It's an insect, Myriopoda. What's that? A giant carnivorous centipede. Natural habitat? 
Haiti. Hurry, hurry, my loyal believers. The moon is full in two days. By then, we will have the ransom. We will hold the fire ceremony. The spirits of the angels themselves will walk among us and share with us their power. You'll never get away with this. The police will find you. Find me, Mr. Drake? Where will they look? The Caribbean is a maze. Many islands to search. No, Mr. Drake. They will pay the ransom. Or they will receive a videotape twice as bloody as the first. Hurry, my people. Dig! Dig! <laughs> no! Tim. What's this? Tim, I... I found this videotape in the cave. They're still alive. Why didn't you tell me? They're my parents. I, I have a right to know. Tim, I didn't want to worry you needlessly. There was no point building up your hopes if... If there's nothing I can do... Worry needlessly? They're my parents. I, I thought they were dead. Go ahead. Get it out of your system. You have no right to... No. I, I want to be Robin. I'm going to start now with this. Tell me what you know. The kidnappers want ten million dollars, but I have a line on them. Unless I read it wrong, your parents are being held on Haiti by a voodoo cult. Voodoo? Giant centipede on the film. Voodoo sorcerers keep them as symbols of their power. So we go to Haiti? No. It'd be like searching for a needle in a haystack. We play it slow. Yes, Commissioner? I understand. News? The kidnappers have named the time and place for the drop-off. Are you going to catch them? No. These people are too smart to pick up the money themselves. I'm going to follow them. Alfred. Yes, sir. Please come down. I'll be out of town for a few days. Cancel all my engagements. Yes, sir. What shall I tell the young starlet you were to dine with tomorrow? Tell her Bruce Wayne is sorry, but he's on an extended vacation. In the Caribbean. Batman, wait! I want to go with you! Batman! There, there, lad. Leave this chore to Master Bruce. If anyone can bring your parents back, he will. It's... strange, Alfred. Dick Grayson's parents died and gave the world Robin. And poor Jason, his parents died too. Maybe... maybe it's something we all have to go through before... before we put on the suit. Yeah, Master Tim. Perish the thought. Jack, what are they doing out there? I don't know, dear. Killing someone else, no doubt. More of their superstitious, bloody rituals. They were talking earlier about some ceremony they're holding tomorrow night. They... they seem to expect the ransom to be paid by then. I hope so. They murdered Jeremy without blinking an eye. Jack, tomorrow we could be dead. We can't think that way. I just wanted to tell you. All the time that we have wasted arguing, I just want to say... I know, dear. I'm sorry, too. Jack, I have never been so scared in my life. Me neither, but we have to be strong, Janet. Think of Tim, how he must be feeling. Wayne residence? No, I'm sorry, Commissioner Gordon. Mr. Wayne has been gone for several days. He's vacationing in the islands this week. I believe he mentioned something about judging a beauty contest. Uh, yes, sir. He has volunteered his estate to care for the young Timothy Drake during this terrible crisis. Uh, yes, sir, terrible for such a young man. Oh, no, sir. I'm sorry Master Timothy is indisposed at the moment. He hasn't left his room in several days. I... I'm afraid he's taking it all rather hard. <sighs> In, hold, relax. Only my breath breaks this silence. Feeling fades. Love and fear. These feelings are mine, but I am not these feelings. You will pay us ten million dollars for their return. And to show, as Mr. Drake says, that we are serious. Wait, what are you doing? No, no, no! 
Dick Grayson's Dick parents Grayson's died and gave the world Robin. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's something maybe we all have to go through before, 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 before we put on the suit. Put on the suit. Death. It's the shadow of the bat. It follows him. It scares me. No. Remember what he taught me. These thoughts are mine, but I am not these thoughts. I am what I am. I am what I choose to be. And I choose to be Robin. Master Timothy. Alfred, I, I'm okay. I think I just needed some time to figure this out. Master Timothy, please. But I'm through it. I can handle this. Whatever happens. I just wish Bruce were here. Tim. Bruce, you're bleeding. I, I have bad news. Paging Dr. Gorfinkel. Dr. Gorfinkel, please. Tell me about it. You. Are you sure? It will hurt. Tell me about it. Your parents' company had decided to pay the ransom. The pickup man was easy enough to tail. I knew he was going to Haiti. Bruce Wayne was on the same flight, but it was the Batman who followed the kidnappers to their hideout. Oh, the heat! I can't stand it. You, Obi, a man or whatever you call yourself, my wife needs water. That is unfortunate, Mr. Drake. For she may not have any. Not quite yet, anyway. But soon, she will drink all she will ever want. You sadist. Why are you doing this? Why have you tied us to this stake? The heat from this fire is unbearable. This circle of fiery coals is unbearable for you. Unbearable for those who do not command the power of the spirit Loas. Not for the Obia man. You have the ransom money. Now keep your part of the bargain. Let us go. Let us out of here. I fear there has been a misunderstanding, Mr. Drake. It is your souls which will be freed. Ransom or no, you will surely die. Thirteen of them, two with guns, most of the others armed, have to get this right the first time. The moon is full. The coals burn hot. All around, the invisible fire lowers writhe and curl. Accept the sacrifice we offer in turn. Give us what we seek. Power. Oh my God, Jack, he's walking on those coals in his bare feet. He's a madman. We've got to get loose. Join me, my followers. Do not be afraid. Believe. Only believe. And nothing can harm you. Don't suppose this Obia man's followers have heard of the Liedenfrost effect. Perspiration forms a barrier between the coals and the skin. A person can stand on it for a short time if they're properly trained. Or if they're wearing boots. Step across the coals. Do it, Malician. Do it, Luis. Do it, all of you. Believe. I believe. I believe. The fire laws will protect me. I believe. The fire laws will protect me. The fire laws will protect me. I believe. The guns go first. Oh. An evil spirit. A demon. No spirit. He is a man. Stop! I don't believe it. Batman. If I can take out the Obia man, the other should be easy. But he's got no glass jaw. And the mob creeping up behind me isn't going to make the job any easier. Batman, look out! Ha! I'll take that club. Oh. I don't know why you interfere, outsider. But my knife will make sure that the spirit Loas claim a third victim this night. Ugh! You wanted the power of the spirits? Then fly. No! Batman, are you... Oh, losing blood. Gotta end this soon. You'll be free in a moment. Thank God. He frees the sacrifice. The spirits demand he dies. We're not out of this yet. There are still a dozen armed men between us and a way out. Water. Got to get that water. Mm. We have to make a break for it. Are you two up to it? We we can try, Batman, but I need some of that water. Oh. 
Water! Water! Drink the water. <laughs> Jokey! <laughs> Poison. <laughs> Fool! Your heroics were all in vain. They were fated to die. <laughs> oh, be a man. No, no. The spirits will protect. Oh, be a man. Did you... He's in a prison infirmary in Haiti. He won't have the chance to hurt anyone for a long time. Your parents were unconscious. I put them in a jeep and drove directly to the hospital in town. There was nothing they could do. Jimson root extract. It's a nerve toxin. I... I'm sorry, Tim. I'm truly sorry. Your... mother was dead before we arrived. Your father... well... Oh, here's the doctor. Doctor, how is he? I is there any chance? Not much, son. I'm sorry. His central nervous system is badly damaged. He's... he's paralyzed. No! Tim, I know how you must feel. Do you? Give me the pearls, lady. Mom! 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 Yes. I... I know. I'm sorry. For a minute, I relax against him. I feel his strength flow into me from those bottomless reserves. He absorbs my fear, takes it all on his own shoulders. Hero's shoulders. And then I stare into the dark side, the night demon's cowl. The cape like some jagged evil stain spreading, swirling around me. Timothy, you can go in for a few minutes. He can hear you, but he can't respond. Do you want me to... No. Dad? Dad, it's me, Tim. The world is rotten. No justice, no sense. Not for a boy kneeling at his father's deathbed. Not for a grown man still mourning his parents' murder, either. How do I make up for what he's lost? How do I pay back the pain and the fear? Draw power from death? Make him become like me? The night monster. The man who taints the lives of all around him. Is that what I want for him? Is that what he'll want for himself? <laughs>